doesn't love to eat? Many of the foods available today are full of chemicals and additives that will literally kill you in time. While some of these deadly foods are easily identified, some come as quite a surprise. Those little surprises are what we're going to focus on today. Here are 15 foods you should never eat. Number 15. Instant Noodles When trying to eat healthy, one good rule of thumb is to avoid anything that has the word instant on the packaging. Remember, healthy food is never instant, and nothing encapsulates the unhealthiness of instant foods more than instant noodles. The amount of sodium in instant noodles is extremely high, and they contain what's called a monosodium glutamate, or popularly known as MSG, which has its own set of problems. Now, MSG isn't actually going to kill you despite the legend surrounding it, but rather it's extremely addictive. It's used by restaurants as a flavor enhancer, making customers come back for more. It also increases hunger, making you want to eat more. Number 14. Tile fish. Fish is often touted as a health food, and with good reason. Having fish as a staple in your diet has a lot of benefits. Some fish, however, are literally poison when eaten in huge quantities. One of them, of course, is the tile fish. The colorful tile fish, known as the clown of the sea, may look like a tropical species, but it's actually found from Florida to as far north as Nova Scotia. But eating them is definitely no laughing matter. Their flesh contains highly poisonous mercury, and eating enough of them is definitely gonna kill ya. Number 13. Diet Sodas What do artificial colors, flame retardants, and waste widening fake sugars all got in common? Well, all of them aren't really good for your health, especially the flame retardants, and they can also be found in your favorite diet soda. It's actually kind of ironic, but yes, diet sodas typically marketed as healthier alternatives to their non-diet counterparts actually can be worse for you. This is because nearly all popular diet sodas contain aspartame, an artificial sweetener that was initially developed to add weight loss, but that has recently been found to have the opposite effect raising glucose levels, overloading the liver, and causing the excess to convert into fat. You'd honestly be better off drinking regular soda if not for the sugar content. Number 12. Bacon and Sausage oh, I and every American have been dreading the century since I started, but I guess there really is no denying the truth. Our two favorite processed meats are really, really bad for you. Processed meats are the worst of both worlds. They're typically made from red meat's high in saturated fats, and they contain high levels of advanced glycation end products, which are inflammatory compounds that are created when these processed meats are dried, smoked, and cooked at high temps. Of course, you shouldn't forget those nitrates and nitrites in cured and natural uncured meats that can turn into carcinogenic nitrosamines when exposed to high heat. Surely you cook your bacon on a hot frying pan, am I right? Number 11. Frosting. Oh, another thing I've been dreading. What celebration is complete without a cake? This sweet dessert has been a staple of any kind of celebration since time and memoriam, especially those heavily frosted ones. Aside from the sugar, what else in cake can be bad for you, though? Well, as it turns out, it's the frosting. Many brand name frostings, such as Duncan Hines Creamy Home Style Classic Vanilla, are made with partially hydrogenated soybean and cottonseed oil. And of course, despite being white, many of these frostings are tinted with potentially carcinogen contaminated dyes, such as caramel color and titanium dioxide, and artificial colors. I don't know about you, but titanium in my cake doesn't, uh, doesn't sound that appetizing, really. Lastly, the propylene glycol in many frosting recipes has been linked to poor kidney health by research in the American Journal of Kidney Diseases. Number 10. Pancakes and Waffles. I am beginning to regret doing this list. Now not only do I feel bad eating bacon and frosting, and now I gotta feel bad about eating pancakes and waffles. Both pancakes and waffles contain flour, egg, sugar, and milk. Although they have more protein than some breakfast items, pancakes and waffles are very high in refined flour. Many researchers believe that refined grains like wheat flour contribute to insulin resistance and obesity. Alright, alright, that's a pretty valid point, but you know what? That's two of my favorite breakfast items gone from my shopping list. Why stop there? Number 9! Pancake Syrup Let's further ruin everyone's breakfast by pointing out how pancake syrup is bad for ya. Pancake syrup is one of those food items that pretends they're something they aren't, namely maple syrup. These artificial syrups contain high fructose corn syrup, which can cause the inflammation that drives insulin resistance, which may lead to prediabetes or type 2 diabetes. Alright, so don't buy pancake syrup and just opt for good old natural maple syrup, am I right? <laughs> no. No, no, wrong. 
Pure maple syrup is definitely a better choice than pancake syrup, but it's still very high in sugar, which adds empty calories to the meal. And of course, you know, risk diabetes, etc, etc. Number 8. Energy drinks. Well, this one's easy for me. I don't like Red Bull or Monster or Bang. I, I'm more of a soda guy, but you know, some people really do like energy drinks, and that's a bit of a problem. Granted, they are great for a long day, and they certainly do the trick, but that brief burst of energy does come with a cost. You see, these medicinal tasting beverages are simply overpriced chemical cocktails with the caffeine content of a strong cup of coffee and a ton of sugar. Or even scarier, artificial sweeteners. There's a reason why people have to be wary of these drinks. A University of Maryland study found energy drinks to be 11% more corrosive to your teeth than regular soda. There's also this quite unsettling finding that resulted from a case on the study of a 50-year-old construction worker. Having too many energy drinks could actually destroy your liver. The report, published in 2016, found that the man developed acute hepatitis after consuming 4-5 to five energy drinks every day over the course of three weeks. Number 7. Brown Rice Yeah, so-called healthier alternatives are not immune to the scrutiny of nutritionists. Despite the countless health benefits of brown rice, which include digestion slowing fiber and metabolism boosting selenium, there is one reason you might consider the white grain over brown, and that is high arsenic content. Recent analysis conducted by the US Food and Drug Administration have found that arsenic is showing up at alarming rates in brown rice. Not only is arsenic a known poison and carcinogen, but long-term exposure to high levels of arsenic is also associated with higher rates of skin, bladder, and lung cancers. We also have heart disease on top of all that. Because arsenic seeps into the outermost layers of the grain, it remains in fiber-rich brown rice, but not in polished white rice. But of course, when you think you can get away with white rice... Number 6. White rice. White rice is processed to make it white. This basically means that all the nasties contained in wild rice are eliminated, just like the arsenic. But does refinement equate to it being safe to eat? Eh, uh, not quite. It can have a negative impact on your blood sugar levels. In fact, because of that impact on blood sugar levels, eating white rice in excess has even been linked to increasing your risk of type 2 diabetes. According to experts, eating white rice is almost the same as eating the same amount of pure table sugar. Number 5. Sports drinks. Not to be confused with energy drinks, sports drinks are on a different category of their own. Granted though, they're probably just as bad for you. One scan of the nutritional label and it's clear. The sports drink is better off seeping into the sidelines than in your stomach. While it does provide critical post-workout electrolytes like sodium and potassium as they are heavily advertised, it also serves up to a hearty helping of calories and sugar. In fact, there are 52 grams of the sweet stuff in a 32 ounce bottle. That is if you're wondering, which is way more than the recommended daily dose of sugar. Number 4. Margarine. Believe it or not, margarine was actually marked as a healthier alternative to butter in its heyday. Margarine is definitely tasty, and fanboys will swear it tastes better than butter. But the creamy taste of margarine had to come from somewhere, right? Usually it's from the addition of vegetable oils, and many blends can include palm oil, which has a high saturated fat content and can also cause inflammation. A better but not necessarily guilt-free alternative to slather all over your toes is olive oil. But then again, olive oil contains 120 calories per tablespoon, so I guess plain toast instead? And speaking of toast, number three, white bread. All right, at this point, it looks like it's fruit juice for me at breakfast, but somehow I feel jinx even at that. But on to white bread first, which is definitely the sum of all its parts because the main ingredient that is actually bad for you is bleached flour, which makes sense since the bread is primarily white. Some manufacturers use an ingredient called azote carbonamide, which you might recall as the yoga mat additive that Subway once controversially used. This plastic dough conditioner is used to make bread dough fluffier. Nutritionists all over the world agree that you should avoid it, citing evidence of the chemicals that it breaks down to after baking are recognized carcinogens. And now it's time for today's best pick. Today's best pick is a food item that has a hard life. Nutritionists can't seem to agree whether it's healthy or not. That is despite the human race eating them for millennia. What polarizing food item could this be? Find out more next with number two. Eggs. Once upon a time, eating eggs was considered healthy. Then they were declared unhealthy. Then it was declared that eating just the yolks would be fine. Then they did a complete 180 and said that yolks are bad and whites are good. And then the whites are bad, but the yolks are good. What gives? I think it's about time to end this conundrum once and for all. 
From what we know today, here's the bottom line. For most people, an egg a day does not increase your risk of a heart attack, a stroke, or any type of cardiovascular disease. No more than three eggs per week is wise if you have diabetes or at high risk for heart disease from other causes such as smoking or already have a heart disease. The evidence that cholesterol in one egg a day is safe for most people comes from huge studies many conducted over at Harvard Medical School that have followed hundreds of thousands of people over decades. So there you go, eating eggs are fine in moderation. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number one. Fruit juice. Oh, come on. Oh, so it's not enough that my breakfast is ruined, now everybody else is. Oh, but it's natural, I hear you scream. Well, that's what I thought too, until I looked at my script and did the research. While 100% fruit juice is a better pick than high fructose corn syrup laden drinks like Sunny D, even the all natural Welch's grapefruit juice still packs up to 36 grams of sugar per cup, or about what you get from shotgun and four Krispy Kremes down your gullet. And although this sugar is natural, your body doesn't care and treats it the same way as any other sugar. What's more, most of the sweetness in juice comes from fructose, a type of sugar associated with the development of visceral adipose tissue in overweight people. That's science talk for belly fat, at least according to a study in the Journal of Clinical Investigation. And that's it, I've ruined it for many of us. Are any of your favorite foods included on this list? Let me know how much you hate me right now down below in the comments. And instead of eating that, uh, tasty glazed donut that's just calling your name, uh, why, why, why don't you watch the rest of the channel's amazing videos instead? I guarantee they have zero calories. As always, uh, thanks for, thanks for watching. I have no regrets.